let's take you to the UK now where polls have closed in today's general election as British voters choose their new government. An exit poll released before any votes were counted suggests a landslide for the Labour Party. And joining us live now with the latest from London is the CBC's very own Chris Brown. Chris, thanks for making the time for us tonight. Hi, Tanya. Well, uh, there is, uh, is a, a poll out. It's an exit poll. It was released just seconds after uh, all of the votes were counted. It's being projected up in the BBC building behind me there. 410 seats are projected tonight for the Labour Party, just 130 for the Conservatives, which would amount to a repudiation, a significant repudiation of Tory rule. All the pointers tonight are that Sir Keir Starmer is taking Labour back to power. This is shaping up not just as a win for Labour, but a rout. The thing that kept coming back to us was that the 14 years the Tories have been in power and the chaos that they've had to tolerate is that they wanted that change. Keir Starmer, are you ready to become Prime Minister? Starmer, a former human rights lawyer who later was knighted Sir Keir, for heading up Britain's Crown Prosecution Service, found success by moving the Labour Party to the political centre. A mandate for economic growth. He ditched extreme policies such as nationalising energy companies and instead promised an infusion of money into health care and education. Rishi Sunak was the fifth Prime Minister in eight years for the scandal-ridden Conservatives. And we will have a general election. He called the election early, perhaps hoping to ride a rebounding UK economy, but his campaign was plagued by missteps, including bailing early on the D-Day anniversary commemorations. On reflection, it was a mistake not to stay longer, and I've apologised for that. Yeah, a really serious press conference holding an ice cream. <laughs> Sunak also faced a surging threat from the political right, from Nigel Farage and Reform UK, which pushed an anti-immigrant, low-tax platform that ate into Conservative support. I think the Conservatives need a little bit of time in the wilderness to sort themselves out. Indeed, after Boris Johnson's many integrity lapses, a budget from Liz Truss that was blamed for crashing the pound and taking Britain out of the EU with few economic benefits to show for it, political veterans didn't seem surprised by what they were seeing. I think it would have required for Superman uh, as leader of the Conservative Party to lead them back to some sort of victory, and Mr Sunak is not Superman. Now, Chris, the vote counting will continue well into tomorrow, but if these exit poll results hold, what can we expect next? Well, it does take a long time, Tanya, much longer than what we're used to in Canada to count the votes and then announce the candidates. But we know that a number of very senior Conservative cabinet ministers, the Chancellor, the Government House Leader, they're all in significant dogfights to try to hold on to their seats. So that's one thing to look for. Also, just how much of a breakthrough will Reform UK have? This is a party that's actually modeled after Canada's old Reform Party. They're hoping to do a reverse takeover uh, if they get a significant size of the vote and eventually hopefully rival the Conservatives uh, on, on, on the right. Uh, the transition for the new government will happen tomorrow morning. That's when uh, Rishi Sunak, followed by Keir Starmer, will go and visit King Charles. And then Starmer will return alone to 10 Downing Street, and the labor era will begin. Mm. Tanya. Well, thank you so much for this. Appreciate your time, especially at this late hour for you. That's our Chris Brown, live from London, following the UK election results.